Hi everyone, welcome to another Countycom one take video. Hey, we're gonna today we're talking about the brand new R4A knife, ready for action knife from Countycom. This is just unbelievable. Really, really nice knife. Took a long time to get get it, but uh, we got it. Um, there were many, many prototypes and revisions. Uh, it's a simple knife, but it sure it sure was difficult to make. Uh, but we didn't cut corners. We we're very thrilled with this knife. So let's start with it. It's just the right size for urban or rural environments. Um, let's talk about uh, what, what, what type of attributes would we want on a knife? We want a blade that's very hard. We want a blade that's corrosion resistant. Um, and, and, you know, hard because it's going to stay sharp. That's really what we're looking for. Um, you know, sometimes we use knives for things we shouldn't. Sometimes there's some prying involved. Uh, you know, we do things we shouldn't. And we need a, a utility knife that's going to survive all of that. It's going to survive our lifestyle. And we think it'll survive yours. So let's, let's talk about it. The blade is D2 steel. So those of you that aren't familiar with D2 steel, is, it's the same two material we use in our cutting bits on our mills and our lathes. D2 is, you know, it's just, it is the standard for cutting uh, uh, in machine shops. Uh, D2, high carbon content on D2 makes it more prone to corrosion. Well, we can fix that. We will put a black oxide coating on it to resist corrosion. We never say corrosion proof, but it, it is resistant to corrosion. So that's great. Uh, we, you know, we do things with our knives we shouldn't be doing. So the entire length of the blade is treated D2. Uh, we make it thick. It's, it's, this is a beefy, thick, beefy knife. It is 0.185 inches thick right across the back strap. Uh, these are all marked. Here we go. You know, we're not focusing it for you. There you go. Oh, there it is. So lasered Meritac 212 out of 500. Our first production run is 500 pieces. Um, and, uh, this is knife number 212. I am sorry. We can't, you know, give you knives or promise you what knife number you're going to get, but it'll be between one and 500 for this first production run. So we talked about that. We use titanium, uh, screws. Some people might call them bolsters. I, I think screws are, are the correct thing. So the handle is held on with titanium screws. Uh, we chose titanium because... We thought that with the D2 blade, anything else would be kind of a downgrade. So, you know, titanium, very light corrosion resistant. So we like that idea. Uh, we, you know, has a little titanium bead on it. That was just something we thought was super cool and said, hey, let's, let's include that. And there is the glow in the dark handle. That's uh, just super cool. Uh, those of you that, you know, follow or, or uh, you know, do anything with the county comm know about our glow in the dark. We know how to make glow in the dark really well. And uh, this is it. We did not cheat here. Um, it's easy to cheat and make stuff that, you know, glow in the dark. And it qualifies as glow in the dark, but we want it to really glow and work. Because this is a knife that you're going to use. Notice the jibbing on the back of the blade. Super, you know, and I don't want to use the word aggressive, but, you know, you're, you are not likely to slip forward on this. You know, backhand, the back side, that is square because we all know that, you know, things we do with our knives that we shouldn't be doing. You know, you're going to, you know, pound things with this nail, with this uh, uh, knife. And you're probably going to hit things with this knife and, and try to drive it into things. Uh, you know, it's, you know. It's a knife, that's what it's intended for, but we know that you're going to abuse it and we're going to do everything possible to make it resistant of that abuse. You know, it's breakable, it's damageable. Uh, you know, please use responsibly, please use it as a knife, but you know, when push comes to sho shove, uh, we know ha what happens to knives. Look at that, it comes with a beautiful Kydex holster. This also took a bunch of time to get it. Just the right level of retention. 
and there is a quick disconnect belt piece that comes with it. If you want to use that, great. If you don't want to use the quick disconnect, unscrew it. Strap it down to your uh, to your backpack, to your Molly gear. That's that's entirely up to you. Back to this knife. This weighs 7.75 ounces. The Kydex holster and the clip, that's, you know, 3.10 ounces. That's, you know, nothing. Uh, I told you about the D2 steel. Blade length, ah, 3.65 inches of good working blade, uh, you know, which is more than adequate to do a lot of work. Overall length is 8.6 inches. Let me just, boom. Really? Yeah, okay, I'll go 8.6, absolutely. You know, I told you how thick it was. Uh, just, this is, is quite the knife that, uh, you know, we wanted it to be, and we're super pleased how it came out. Uh, if you want to be an early adopter on this, this is the time to get out, in on it. This, this, like I said, is the first production run. Um, it's just super, super sharp, super rugged, um, we we're impressed. They just, they, they just came out of the shop today and, uh, it's my first time seeing a final production piece and, uh, you're going to love it. Hey, if you like these videos, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. The boss, uh, looks at those and that kind of determines if we're going to get to do more videos. I love doing the videos with you and, and, uh, would love to continue. Uh, like and subscribe, please. Hey, thanks for visiting with us today. You know, you know, our, our best wishes in the new 2024 to you. Uh, stay safe. Be alert.